In this video, we're going to show you how to make a selection, which includes hidden rows, and only apply any formatting changes to the visible rows of the selection and not the hidden rows underneath. Let's get started. Here I've got a table that includes subtotals as well as headers. So I'm going to switch the view to the subtotal level. And you can see we've gone and hidden all the actual data. Now I want to make these rows pop a little bit so they're distinctive from all the data in the table. I'm going to select all these rows and let's go up here and we'll apply some fill color. And cool, when I did that. So now, once I go back to the regular view, you can see it's applied the fill color to the entire table, which included those hidden rows. In this case, I wanted to apply the fill color only to the rows that were visible when I was on that view. So I'm going to switch back to that view. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and undo what I did. So now we're back to the row view that I only want these to be highlighted. So the key here is while I have the visible rows that I want the changes to highlighted, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt and semicolon. And that switched our selection to only the visible rows. You can see there's a little bit of separation between the rows now. So when I apply the formatting again, I'll come up here and click fill. It's again filled in the the highlights for those rows. And if I switch back to the whole view, you can see the formatting was only applied to the rows that were visible when I made the selection. To be notified of future tips for Excel, subscribe and click on the button. If you want to, go ahead and give this video a like. Thanks for watching and we will see you, as they say, in the next one. Thanks for watching.